All right, guys. Welcome to this brand new video. Don't expect me to be super hyper. It's early in the morning, Sunday, April 20, April 30th. So this brand new business that I'm about to show you guys has been open for one month now. And I've been meaning to make a video. I just, it's been busy. I've been here. But obviously, that's not an excuse. Um, we're literally just going to walk through and show you guys the business. So you might have seen it on TikTok. You might have seen it um, everywhere, anywhere. But yeah, this is the barbershop slash auto detailing business that I started. It's a brand new concept. Um, I, haven't I haven't really seen anyone else do it. So this is the garage. And this is the barbershop. I got lucky finding this spot. Obviously, there's not a lot of spaces where there's a car wash and then there's a retail spot. But I'm just going to show you guys what I have going on. We walk in. There's the reception area. There's the schedule. Um, my receptionist sits here. There's seven barber chairs. We only have three barbers right now because... Um, we're still building it up. Obviously, I cut here. Um, I still have my other barber shop, and my business partner is running that one. Um, another thing we have that's not part of the barber shop is a shoe wall. So these shoes are actually for sale. I have this neon light here. Let me turn it on. Yeah, don't expect this video to be some crazy high quality video. I'm literally just going to show you guys the setup and yeah, you can hopefully get some ideas from it. There you go. There's the shoe wall. I have a client that sells shoes. I told him, bro, put your shoes right here. All right. Then I just get a commission. Also here, I have a shoe cleaning guy that cleans shoes. Quick clean, 20 bucks. Shoe restoration, 55. Um, I bought these shoes off Chink the Barber. Shout out to Chink. Gave me a crazy steal. And I might just flip them or wear them. Um, I don't know. I've never worn Jordan Highs before. This is a deep clean that I did for a client. These were beat before. Then we just got it back to life. Um, I'm going to show you the back. So this place used to be an um, auto detailing spot. So they had a bunch of equipment that I bought off of them for steel. So they had the vinyl cutter. I actually sold that to a friend. And then they had washing machines. So I saved a lot of money on that. And this used to be a kitchen sink. But obviously plumbing and moving sinks would be the biggest expense in a barbershop renovation. So what I did was I just turned it to hair wash sinks. Uh, there was one water supply, so I just turned it to two sinks. You can see here it says hair wash here, car wash over there. <laughs> just thought it was funny. Because hair wash, car wash, that's like something you don't really see. The washroom's really big. So clients, clients can come in here. I put all the sample products, put some aftershave, I put some hairspray, face wipe, lotion. Um, they can get ready here so they can go on with their day. Um, the ideal client is people that, you know, are busy to, too busy to clean their own car and they end up not actually cleaning it. So those are very time efficient people, time sensitive people. So, you know, give them products, give them anything to get them going again with their day, to continue their day. And I do plan on putting like a steamer here. So let's say they, you know, they don't wanna get hairs all over their shirt. They can take it off, they can steam it again. So it still looks nice. We're going, we went with like a 1950s diner theme. 
because the because of the name drive in barbershop there's a name drive in I got that jukebox from Facebook marketplace um, this TV is actually broken but this shows the live feed of the garage I'm replacing that TV tomorrow and here's the garage so two cars can fit in here ideally we want to just keep doing exterior washes to make it you know fast and available for each person but yeah this opens all the way the best part of this whole shop is probably our sign it's fucking huge so I'll just put a picture of it on the screen but yeah guys this is the brand new barbershop concept um, I'm just gonna upload this video as is no editing just cuz I got I got a lot of shit to do and uh, I still want to keep up with my YouTube and I did document this whole process of opening this shop um, that's all recorded obviously someone's got to edit it it's not gonna be me but yeah we're building lots of systems lots of different offers um, lots of moving parts in here which is more complicated than just a regular shop because we got detailers now receptionists all that but yeah guys if you have any questions just comment down below